It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Wednesday, the first day of March. You know what that means? This is the first day of meteorological spring and the first day of the spring tornado season. And we have a chance of severe weather today. So a lot to talk about. Let's go right to it. Very dynamic upper trough approaching Alabama. That produced a lot of severe weather yesterday and last night, as expected. 24 tornado reports. That's not necessarily 24 different tornadoes, but reports on the initial uh, graphic here coming from the SPC yesterday and last night. This morning, a band of severe storms blowing through western Tennessee. Uh, obviously, with a bow echo like that, potential for strong straight-line winds, if nothing else. And that will be racing through parts of middle Tennessee this morning, staying mostly north of Alabama, this batch of storms. Very balmy, muggy this morning. Uh, temperatures are well up in the 60s. Tuscaloosa, 69. And you can pick out that front. It's on through Tulsa and St. Louis. Tulsa down to 44, St. Louis at 56. And that'll be pushing through here late this afternoon. There's the watch warning map. Flash flood watches north of here for parts of Kentucky, Ohio. See a lot of flash flood warnings around Cincinnati over into uh, West Virginia. No flooding problems down here. And this is the latest tornado watch issued early this morning. This is in effect until 10 o'clock for parts of Middle Tennessee, Kentucky, on up towards Cincinnati. Uh, this includes Louisville, Nashville, Cincinnati. Uh, no part of Alabama involved in that. This is the overall severe weather risk for today and tonight. The eastern third of the country with a chance of severe storms. All the way from Mobile to Boston. Uh, the enhanced risk running from extreme North Mississippi and North Alabama up into Pennsylvania. This is the tornado threat today. Numbers are way down from yesterday. Uh, 5% circle can eclipse North Alabama. This is the closer look at our state. The, the SPC guys continue to trim back the enhanced risk. Yesterday, it was south of Birmingham. Today, it clips only the northern part of the state up around the Tennessee Valley. But understand, we've got the standard risk, the yellow down to US 80, down to Demopolis, Montgomery, and Opelika, a marginal risk down to Dothan and Mobile. We'll talk about this as we go. And the rain for the next seven days, about one half to one inch for much of the state. And this is the RPM showing rain for the next 24 hours, and we figure with the event today, rain amounts will be around one half inch for most spots, and obviously that's not going to uh, produce any flooding. So here's the 06 EGFS at noon today. You can see the main dynamic uh, uh, support a little north of here with the trough. The surface low, way north of here. It's near Detroit at midday, 992 millibars with a trailing front down to Memphis and Houston. In terms of the timing, this is the uh, HRRR showing uh, noon today. Showers and storms at that point should be over northwest Alabama up in the Tennessee Valley. Two o'clock, line of storms coming into Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Gadsden. Six o'clock, the line of storms in Montgomery, Auburn, Opelika. And at that point, the severe weather threat is over for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. So it's going to be a quick moving line of storms this afternoon. In terms of some of the severe weather parameters, this is 2 o'clock. This is the low-level jet. The wind's about 5,000 feet off the ground, where the pressure is 850 millibars. And really, the higher winds have already pulled away from here, and they're more out of the west than out of the south. And that, uh, again, suggests that the tornado threat will be pretty low. Uh, this is the shear. The, the higher shear values, again, are kind of north and east of Alabama uh, as the front comes through. And understand the tornado threat here is not zero, but it's fairly low the main threat coming from stronger winds forecast sounding and like we've showed you for the past few days with this thing you'd like to see those lower gates more out of the southeast uh, so this is the bottom line uh, severe storms northwest alabama nine to one tuscaloosa birmingham anniston gadsden the window one to five montgomery auburn opelika alexander city the window five until nine so just be sure you can hear watches and warnings. If they are needed, pay attention to severe thunderstorm warnings. You know, a 60-mile-an-hour wind can knock a tree down just like a small tornado. And by uh, the evening, all that stuff's going to be out of here. Tomorrow, a dry, cool day. The high will be around 60. The sky will be sunny. Friday, we start the day in the mid-30s. Is at 1039 high pushes in. 
and the high in the 57 to 60 degree range on Friday. These are the anomalies, much of the eastern U.S. well below average. Saturday morning's going to be cold. Latest GFS showing 28 now for Birmingham. So a pretty good freeze coming up Saturday morning. The day will be sunny. The high will be around 60. And this is Sunday. The sky will be sunny and the high will be in the middle 60s. So cool, dry for the weekend. And again, a morning freeze Saturday morning. This is Monday. We're still dry. Moisture increases. We reach uh, the low 70s. And Tuesday, here comes the next front. Surface low very far north of here. Uh, north of the Great Lakes in Canada. And then by Tuesday night, that comes on through here. So uh, late Tuesday, Tuesday night, we'll see showers and thunder. The severe weather possibilities will be fairly low with this. And then a week from today, this is Wednesday, the 8th of March, troughing to the north, a cool, dry air mass settling in here. Here's the end of the forecast period, Friday, March the 10th. Pretty cold look for the eastern U.S. if this verifies with a trough. And this is even suggesting maybe some uh, snow flurries here over Tennessee and Kentucky. Yeah, we got a lot of uh, cold, little cold snaps to go. We always have them in March and April. We know that. These are the anomalies on Friday, March 10th. And you can see some pretty cold air coming down from Canada. Now, this is uh, coming off the G, I'm sorry, the European Ensemble. Uh, and it's got highs dropping in the uh, upper 50s, uh, really, tomorrow and Friday then low 60s for the weekend. It's got 35 on Saturday, but the GFS, again, has pushed us down to 28, and I think that's more reasonable. And after that, number's pretty routine for March with mostly 60s and 40s, but don't be shocked if we have a pretty good cold snap in there somewhere. This is ensemble data. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video later today, if the weather allows, by 4 o'clock. You can watch us this evening on the live stream or on television, ABC 3340 News at 4, 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.